It's time to get things going here inside the Midas Hotel and Casino. This is ESPN5 Boxing's presentation of Caballo vs. Nakamura as we send it over to our ring announcer, Mr. Ted Lerner. Boxing fans, we are coming to you live from the Midas Hotel and Casino here in Pasay City, Metro Manila, Philippines. As tonight, Sandman Promotions, in association with One Pac-Man Party List, Smart, and brought to you by ESPN5, proudly presents a night of the very best in Philippine professional boxing. Let's give it up. Come on, folks. All right, now we're gonna have our co-feature main event right now. Let's bring out the fighters in this 10-round flyweight bout. Firstly, would you please welcome, fighting out of the blue corner, Roshan Sargilia. From Shane Sargilia, will he be the first man na magmamarka sa Los Colum? Itong si Doberman, Dave Apolinario, he looks ready. We talked to him during the weigh-in. He said that he will give it his all and try to score a win against the favored Doberman. Alam mo, partner, almost same number of bouts itong si Sargilia and Apolinario. But talent-wise, mas malalim uh, itong si Apolinario. But what I like about Sargilia, the only fight that I saw, yung kanyang ability no, to uh, attack the body of his opponent. And now, boxing fans, his opponent from the red corner, he's known as the Doberman, Dave Apolinario. <laughs> Apolinario still wearing that Doberman mask. At talaga pinaninitigan na. Na yan yung tawag sa kanya because of his ability to stalk his opponent. Yes. And a chance for us to see kung meron bang fight. Ito mga punches. Itong si Dave Apolinario facing someone who has tasted defeat only once has been into Decent quality fights. Now so taking far, a look no? at our tale of the tape, sound for Dave Apolinario against the Orthodox Ramshane Sargilia. You can see their records undefeated. Itong si Apolinario with six knockouts, seven, one, and two with four KOs for Sargilia as he sent it back to Mr. Ted. Boxing fans, here we go. This next attraction here at the Midas Hotel and Casino in Pasay City, brought to you by Sandman Promotions and sponsored by One Pac-Man Party List and Smart. Eight rounds in the flyweight division. Judge is scoring this bout at ringside. Virgilio Garcia, Elmo Coloma, and Jojo Yanera. And when the bell rings, your third man in the ring, uh, referee Noel Haduka. And now, fight fans, let's meet the fighters. Firstly, fighting out of the blue corner tonight, wearing the red and white. He weighed in at 112 and one half pounds. Fight record, seven wins, one loss, two draws, four wins by knockout. He hails from Mitsayap Kotop. Pato. He's known as the Hammer, Ramshin Sorgilia. And his opponent, he fights tonight out of the red corner, and he wears the black and gold of the Sandman Boxing Stable. He went in at 115, 111 pounds. Fight record, nine wins. No defeats, six wins by knockout. 
and he hails from Asim Sarangani. Would you please welcome Dave Duberman of Polinario. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds in the flyweight division. Here's your referee, Noel Haduka, with the final instructions. Rome chain, Rome chain. Dave, Dave. Okay. Ingat kayo sa lahat ng laban, ha? Pag sinabi kong break, break. Pag stop, stop. Pag may bagsak, pumunta sa neutral corner, okay? Tapos glove and gold talk. Dave Apolinario going up against from Shane Sargilia will open things up in our main card here inside the Midas Hotel and Casino. This is round number one as we thank Smart One Pacman party list of course Midas for supporting this event. This could be fast partner, huh? From Shane Sargilia, four knockouts in seven wins. Three of those four knockouts happened in the first round. So, medyo nagmamadali rin itong si, ano, si uh, Sargilia. Dave Apolinario, his last match was also held here at the Maida Stent in the undercard of Randy Petalcorin's world title opportunity. He scored a first round stoppage against Joan Imperial. So you know that he is a very aggressive fighter. Hindi, ma, hindi nagpapainit ito, no? He comes in and just unloads on his opponents. You know, Polinario saw him from the start. One thing that I gusto ko about uh, how he developed is that the maturity niya mabilis. The first few fights, medyo kaki yung kanyang style. Eh, no? Madalas ang kababa yung kamay. And uh, gumingiti madalas. Uh, pero right na makikita mo, no? yung pagiging uh, refined yung kanyang uh, movement. No? And he's facing someone na meron ding matinding threat. Once beaten, sa kanyang 10-fight uh, career. Hindi nga, napagit nga natin. Uh, four of his, uh, three of his four knockouts happened in the opening round. Best punch so far of this match belongs to Dave Apolinario. That lead left down the middle, down the pipe. Dun sa depensa nitong si Rom Shane Sargilia. Lefty versus righty. Itong si Apolinario, yung southpaw. Again, the footwork will be very important because if you have the outside leg, ikaw yung magtitikta kung saan mapupunta yung laban. Yeah, wala man siya doon uh, jab na tumatama, partner, because of the yung mga yung lead, ano na eh, no? foot. Nagkakaramdaman agad. Oh, good counter, right hook for Apolinario. Pero si Sargilia. Just going down the middle and attacking. Oh, good punch. Another left lands for Apolinario. Good right hook from Apolinario. Dennis is a combination of good speed and impressive power. Yes, without a doubt. Stop, stop, step back. Step back. You know, Dennis, one of my favorite things in boxing is witnessing the change between the way in and fight time. Makikita mo to kahapon. Toyot na Toyot, payat na payat. They look, they look meek actually, but then when you see them performing on top of the ring, eh, nakikita mo talaga yung buwan na ginugol ito mga boxing hero natin in preparing for this match. Actually, literally, most of the fighters during fight week, hindi na kumakain yung mga yun. Eh. So imagine that, you know, almost one weekend hindi kumakain. Good start. And this matchup between Apolinario and Sergilia will be back for more of ESPN 5 Boxing. Maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay. This is ESPN 5 Boxing, Gabalio versus Nakamura. And it is our first featured fight of the evening. That great punch left. Followed by a 1-2 landing for Dave Apolinario as he scored the first round in his favor. Both fighters are aware of each other's potentials, no? As knockout boxers. Dave Apolinario able to hurt 
Sarguilla, pero Sarguilla coming back with a wild right. Panandali ang nasaktan itong si Sarguilla, no? but he was able to recover and, as you said, unleash a counter of his own. Pag tinatamaan ka ng mga ganyang kalalakas sa sundok at hindi ka praktisado, ito mutumba ka na. As you can see now, Rom Shane is not willing to be a victim of the Doberman. Yeah, especially for little guy's partner. No? 112 pounds lamang ito, pero 112 pounds of dynamite. Polinario giving a nod na tinamaan siya doon ng right straight sa katawan itong si Sargilia. One thing about uh, the Sandman group partner uh, is they don't care if yung mga kalapin lang sabihin, tatalunin yung bata mo. They would gladly take that challenge. Because they know the only way to make their fighters improve is to test them against great opposition. Kaya naman, lahat ng nakikita nating laban in this promotion have been very competitive. With two of Sandman fighters getting victories, yung isa naman, nakakuha ng tabla in our supporting bouts. And partner, at least in this round, you know, we saw Apolinario connecting three solid blows. Yeah. Easily, masabi natin na saktan doon si Romshane Sargilia. But, kita mo, hindi basta-basta bumibigay itong si Sargilia. Proving that he's a good choice as a challenger for Teo Polinario. Dahil bukod sa threat, Oh, yung kanyang punching power, eh meron ding tibay itong si uh, Sargilia. Now for those wondering kung ano yung belt na dinadala kanina ng corner nitong si Apolinario, it's actually the WBC Asian Boxing Council Youth Flyweight title. He won that a couple of fights ago. Itong si Apolinario, one of the young, bright prospects of the Philippines. He has good height. Alam mo, natataas pa sa timbang itong si Apolinario. He's very young. As he gets hit there with a nice left from Sarkilia. Stop, stop, break, break, break. And both fighters are really, masabi natin ready, no, dito sa laban to, because they're giving the referee the easiest job in this place tonight, ano? Good right landed by Apolinario. As Rom Shane is looking for a counter. Time. And round number two. Back inside the Midas stands for more ESPN 5 boxing as we witness some of the action that we saw in round number two. Lead left hand, clean as a whistle from Dave Apolinario. Your main weapon of uh, Dave Apolinario, he was able to unleash in that uh, round. Kaya easily that round belongs to Apolinario. When our two fighters weighed in, 111.5. Itong si Apolinario, 112.5 yung kanyang kalaban. As Apolinario is now aggressively stalking Sarkilia to start round number three. Ang inahanap ko rito, partner, yung body shot ni Sarkilia because in his previous fights, magandang siya binabato yun. Now he should be engaged in a firefight against the head hunting. Dave Apolinario. Mga nagtataka yung mga iba nating fans na overweight itong si Sargini. Actually, for non-title fights, we, we will allow the fighters to go over a full pound dun sa ating limits. That's a wild left attempted by Dave Apolinario. This one he lands. There's gaining enough momentum itong si Apolinario. You can see that these two fighters are enjoying going up against each other. Rom Shane with a 1 2 3. Wild with that overhand right. Well, on the part of uh, Apolinario, no? especially Kenyan corner, may dapat you can lang reminder na medyo wag uh, maging uh, kaki and, uh, you know, masyadong uh, confident. No? Because, yes, he's. 
He's been hitting a lot of uh, punches, clean punches. Sabukani Sargilia. But remember, Sargilia is also a knockout artist. If you're an orthodox fighter going up against a southpaw like Apolinario, ano yung mga pinaka-importante suntok in your arsenal? Well, pagkaganto, if you're Apolinario, no, dapat yung uh, jab, you know, binibitaw niya. Right now, hindi ko masyado nakikita yun. He's been uh, connecting uh, almost exclusively with that uh, left uh, punch of his. Pero yung kanan niya, ginagamit nilang patukod, actually. Not yet a weapon. And surely that will be a part of the development of Apolinario sa kanyang professional boxing career. Kay Sargilia naman, yung right hand after the jab, always important going up against Southpaw. Because Sargilia is almost a stationary fighter, yeah. no? Hindi naman talaga magalaw pagka bumabat itong si Apolinario, tumatama. Iyon yung sinasabi natin. If only can throw more of that, Eh, that will benefit uh, Apolinario oh, in the long run. Lord. Left inside for Dave Apolinario. Nasaktan niya doon. Itong si Sargilia. Ayun lang. Around the time, dapat mabuto na ng uh, jab itong si uh, Apolinario. But apparently, ang gusto na talaga yung uh, left straight, eh, no? katulad doon. And that will bring us to the end of round number three. Taking a look at the faces of some of the fans present here inside the Midas Hotel and Casino. They're being treated to an outstanding card by ESPN5 Boxing as we witness this exchange once again. Short left inside, landing for Dave Apolinario. Medyo man sa mind, timing ni Sargilia, partner, no? My Gita man, he's been missing a lot. The intention is there, pero hindi niya makuha yung tamang timing. Oh, big hook landed by the Doberman. Sargilia remains on face, charges on. Clean punches landed by Apolinario at the start of round number four. And isina hanapan mo ng jab itong si Apolinario because you know that it will open so many possibilities for him. And of course, it will create more problems para dito kay uh, Sardilia. Low blow landed by Sardilia as referee Noel Haduka. Stops the action momentarily. He will be given five minutes talking about Apolinario. Yun, malalim talaga. Uppercut. Itong si Sargilia. Again, as much as five minutes. Pero sabi ni Dave Apolinario, hindi kailangan. Get back into it. Meron ding upper top na binabato itong si Dave Apolinario both with his left and his right. That is connecting in this match. Yes. Kaya uh, nahihirapan din itong si Sir Pilya, no? To get things going on his side. Warren for another low blow. Pero ngayon naman itong si Apolinario yung bumitaw. But I don't think uh Intentional, no? Yung mga nangyayari ng low blows right now. Matuha na lang na suntok. Here in round number two. Good lead from Apolinario. Another one. And he goes to the body. Aguilia staying in front of him. You know, I think itong si uh, Apolinario should use the ring signs to his advantage. If it ends up as a brawl, medyo nahihirapan siya dito kay uh, Sargilia. And he's giving up to Sargilia an opportunity na makatama. Tama yan, no? The, the Polinario is the taller, longer fighter. But in phone booth fighting, eh, tinatanggal mo yung bentahe na yan. Yes. And he's the more skillful fighter, no? To si Polinario. Right now, he's definitely winning this round. As he's 
just landing a huge percentage ng mga binibitawan niya suntok. Another uppercut lands for Apolinario. Yung mga suntok ni Sargilia are a bit easy to evade kasi yes. nakikita mo kung saan nanggagaling. Masyadong uh, wide yung mga suntok. Na-anticipate itong si Apolinario. That right hook as a counter has been money for Apolinario in this matchup. Sargilia charges on. Apolinario says, hindi ako nasaktan. Hey, prepare day. Wala bang konting polishing sa maturity ni Apolinario, partner? Good overhand right, a short one mula kay Sardinia scoring against Apolinario. But at least from our angle, the best punches, time, best connections came from the Doberman, Dave Apolinario at the end of this round. Dave Apolinario was talking to his corner saying this is a fight, this is some fight and he is enjoying every moment of it as Rom Shane Sargilia is proving to be a tough customer and a good dance partner para dito kay Dave Apolinario. Well, pinamatanayan niya kung bakit siya meron 7-1 record ito si uh, Sargilia. He's a tough cookie at uh, dito. Medyo nakakalamang again para sa atin si Apolinario. Sargilia remains as a live wire opponent for Apolinario. Best punches for Apolinario. Counter hook. And syempre yung kanyang lead left hand para naman kay Rom Shane. It's just the number of it. It does not stop punching him. Bato lang ng bato. Kahit sa angulo mang galing. You can see there another right hook from Apolinario. Rom Shane looking for holes. Looking for a way to Eliminate the distance, the gap between him and the much longer Deva Polinario. The variety of uh, punches of si Polinario is really a, a tough uh, situation para dito kay Sargilia. Maybe na lang konting shot itong si Polinario. He gets blocked. The big punch from Rom Shane. The Polinario weathering the storm, smiling it off. But those were scoring punche, punches for Sardinia here in round number five. For sure. Well, Sardinia trying to jab to the body. If I'm in the corner of Sepulinari, I'm going to worry because madalas nakikipagsabayan si Diva Polinario. Something which for me is not really that necessary. Baga, even if you're the more talented fighter, kung kahit na ikaw yung stylist, eh, hindi, mahindian itong si Apolinario yung temptation to engage. Because Romshane Sargilia is willing to just exchange gloves at the center of the ring. And nandyan lang sa harapan mo itong si Sargilia. Referee Noel Haduka not having to do too much in this matchup. As these two fighters have mostly been engaged at a distance. Well, the clinches because you know they enjoy throwing heavy leather against each other. Yes. And yun nga na wala man siya dong jab coming from Polinario. In spring this fight, it's very active yung right jab niya, ano? But probably man siya dong attempt si Polinario to score and be more conscious about his solid blows. Wild left hook from Sardinia. As Apolinario looking for a strong finish. Round number five. Time, time.
Carlo Pamintuan po, kasama pa rin si Dennis Principe. Currently enjoying watching and covering this match between Dave Apolinario and Rum Shane Sargilia. Rum Shane Sargilia opening this round with a barrage. But Apolinario waiting patiently until he got his chance to counter. Dave now popping yung jab, something that we have not seen regularly in the first five rounds of this match. And I think you should throw more of that because yung grit ni Sargilla hindi nagbabago. He's being tagged several times, countless times actually, but Sargilla remains in front of uh, Apolinario. Again, that right hook landing perfectly for Dave Apolinario. That's been one of his most effective punches throughout this matchup. Apolinario, only 19 years of age, Dennis. Sky's the limit for this fighter. Without a doubt, you know. And we'll see Romshin Sargilia, not old by any means, only 24 years of age. Mas marami lang talaga. Yung mga nailaba na, even at 19. Nitong si Apolinario. And mostly we're against a quality fighters partner. Ito mga nakalaban ni Dave Apolinario. Sargilia was also a busy fighter in 2018, fighting five times. Even scoring a second round stoppage against Noel Gil Guliman to open his 2018 campaign. Tapos, nakapanalo rin siya against Mervyn Lulu, one of the fighters in our undercard, which earned him the Philippine Luz Proba Flyweight Championship. Right now, more on pacing, ano, itong uh, dalawang boxers. Medyo bumaba yung kanilang uh, activity. Dave Apolinario sensing that he is up comfortably in the scorecards. He has landed more, he has landed better throughout this match. Borderline punch there. Referee Noel Haduka saying it was good. Oh, what a great counter from Dave Apolinario. Another good left hook as Sargilla acknowledges the punch. Slow start, but a good finish in this round for both Apolinario and Sergilia as you come down to the final 10. From Shane pushing on, Apolinario countering at the end. Round number six. See Doberman Dave Apolinario. What will you tell him to be even more effective in this matchup? Again, yung inahanap natin kanina partner, yung kanyang uh, right jab. Because yung kanyang kalaban, despite the, uh, well, short of saying, man, being manhandled in this uh, bout, ano, eh, nandun pa rin yung kanyang uh, determination, nandun pa rin yung kanyang uh, eagerness step back, it up, step uh, to back. trade letters with uh, Dave Apolinario. Yung replay, nakita natin, yung bilis, yung kalino. Nung Dave Apolinario, he unleashed a lead left, hindi tumama, umurong siya, waited for the counter before launching a second one, this time landing it flush. So, thinking fighter din talaga itong si Apolinario. Yes. And right now, nakikita natin, medyo pumipitaw na yung kanyang uh, right hand, ano? And going back to that jab that was effective for him. Round number six, Rom Shane Sargilia flailing with punches, but not landing against Apolinario. And he stopped after being caught by a good jab. Ang bilis makapagod ng mga kanyang klaseng suntok, yung walang tinatamaan. Exactly, you know? Because you will have to exert effort na ikaw yung mismo yung sasalo dun sa force na binitawan mo. I remember for about two months na nag ensayo ka, yung kamay mo sanay na sanay uh, tumama no? through those uh, punching bags. Yep. And then in an instant, biglang hindi ka makakatama. So talaga nakakapagod yun. Ngayon yung work rate nitong si Sargilla, nakita natin na bawasan from 
his effort in the first four rounds. Oh, that's a big punch landed. Sardinia refusing to acknowledge it. Referee already counting. I think it was a jab partner in Tumama. Sabuka. Sargilia still at the man that he was not knocked down. It'll be very interesting to look at the replay of what exactly transpired there. And you know, that's a sign that he's still a dangerous fighter yep. partner. Kasi he's still arguing something. Kahit na medyo at this point, alam natin, alamang na lamang itong si uh, Devo Polinario. But the belief no, na kaya niya pang manalo is still there for Sargilia. And Dennis, kasama kasi yung sa risk nung ginagawa niyang suntok na galing na halos sa likod yung mga mabibigat na pinapakawalan niya kanina often leaves him off balance. So kahit tamaan ka lang ng konti, pag na-timingan ka, it might be considered a knockdown. Ano, part of this is a round na talaga nakita natin yung effectiveness ng kanan. Ni Deva Polinario. A lot of right hand, whether jab or hook, tumatama coming from Deva Polinario. And couple that with that effective left. Ano naman talaga yung nagdulot ng malaking kalamangan para kay Apolinario. And the fighters stepping away for the end of round number seven. Rom Chain Sargilia still wondering why it was scored as a knockdown as we are reminded that this is the eighth and final round. Let's see this one more time. Yun, mayroon talagang tumamay. While we agree that nagka-entangle din yung kanilang paa, that hook counted, landed flush for Deva Polinari. Yes. Well, ang ina-argue ni Sargilia is that pumitaw siya ng kaliwa, hindi tumama, and he lost his balance. But remember, before that happened, tinamaan siya ng isang kanan coming from Deva Polinari. And he was coming in hot, kaya naman nawalan din siya ng balance niya. Eighth and final round between Romshane Sargilia and Dave Apolinari. So if you're Deva Polinari, you, can, you cannot be careless. You cannot think that you have this fight won and in the back. Because we know that Sardinia is a hungry opponent. Yes. So that knockdown is a confidence booster for Deva Polinari. How will he pile onto it? Paano niya susuportahan, susundan dito sa 8th round? Up, bring it up, bring it up. Step back, step back. Etong si Sargilia. And ST ng boxing ito eh, no? Not giving up. Still believes na meron pa siyang puncher's chance to score a victory. No punch, no punch. Step back, step back. Yeah, but lang, he's looking for that one big home run blow. He's loading up on almost every punch na binabato niya in an effort to hurt Deva Polinario. So far, Doberman has stayed away from those wild shots yes. mula dito kay Sargilia. And that is a precise observation partner. Wild yung mga sutok ni Sargilia. You saw a while ago na pumito siya sa katawan ako sa likod. Lumampas yung kamay ni Sargilia. And we noted this early in the matchup, Dennis, no? Madali na basahin saan manggagaling yung mga suntok ni Sarkilia. And the fighter who has quick foot movement na nakakagalaw din ng ulo, ay mabilis talaga may ilaga niyan. Ito mo, no? Si Apolinario is just waiting for Sarkilia to engage. Pag bitaw ng kombinasyon ni Rom Shane, eh doon naman dumidiin ng suntok si Apolinario. Yes, and... That's one thing that will make Apolinario very attractive, you know, sa mga TV coverages, sa fight fans, of course. He knows, and, you know, most people here, they know na in the bag na ito for Apolinario, but 
And Dut pa rin, you know, still taking uh, some chances, willing to engage uh, Sarguilla in the to to uh, battle. Even in the dying seconds of this matchup, Dave Apolinario still trying to throw heavy leather. You know, this is big for him as a young fighter to have back-to-back -back fights in a card. Fans. That should augur in well for his future career. And again, hats off a matchmaker Art Mornis. Jay Simon and Kill of Simon Promotions. You know, it's a good no? One sided for the scores, but you can mo action build for the mga laban. From Shane Sargilia. Beginning a, a tough night for Dave Apolinario, but he was just the superior skilled fighter in this matchup. The reigning WBC Asian Boxing Council youth flyweight champion at 19 years of age, coming from General Santos City, uh, the hotbed of boxing in the Philippines. Looks like he will stay undefeated after this matchup. Well, most likely, remember. A while ago, something happened. Ano, nakala natin. <laughs> yung isang boxer, panalo-panalo, lamang na lamang. Then all of a sudden. Let's relive some of the action that we witnessed in this matchup. Yung left na yan has been very active. Tatlo, tumama lahat. Coming from Dave Apolinario in that exchange. As we're just awaiting the tabulation from our games and amusements board again, we thank them for being here, taking care of our fighters, especially Kanilang Camp Chairman Baha Mitra, Chief of Boxing Jun Bautista, and Assistant Chief of Boxing Miss Jackie Lou Cachos. As the two fighters congratulate each other for a good fight, Apolinario and Sargilia. For eight rounds, they look to hurt each other. But after that, Wala. sports luck. Yes. Uh -oh. He's about ready to give you the decision as he send it over to Mr. Ted Lerner. Fight fans. We have concluded eight rounds of exciting professional boxing here at the Midas Hotel and Casino in Pasay City. And now we go to the scorecards. Judge Jojo Llanera scores about 79-72. And Elmo Coloma and Virgilio Garcia both see the bout 80 to 71. All for your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated. The Doberman, Dave Apolinario. Still undefeated, 10 wins with six knockouts. Dave Apolinario, the reigning WBC Asian Boxing Council youth super flyweight champion. He defeats the stern challenge of Rom Shane Sergilia. As the two share one last moment inside the ring here inside the Midas Hotel and Casino. We will have the full main event of tonight's proceedings for you when we come back here on ESPN 5.